everyone. This is Kyle from We Tech Care Review. Namaste, Dan Yavad. For today's video, we're going to look at applying site templates to a SharePoint site. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the scripts. We're going to deploy a template to this site, and then we're going to apply it to this test here so you can see those changes take shape. Um, it's quite a couple of steps with this. You're going to need to use PowerShell. First things first, if you come to a communication site or a team site or any SharePoint site for that matter, if you click the cog, you can see you can apply a site template here. When this pops up, you've got plenty of site templates from Microsoft, but you've also got some from your organization as well. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a custom template here that then you could reuse. You know, you could build this custom template, which would have your, you know, your business branding applied. And then every time you create a new site for a department in your business, you've already got those, those configurations set. What I'm going to do to show you first is I'm just going to come to this site here. So this is the Microsoft documentation. And this is called Site Design JSON Schema. And I just wanted to show you this because the first set of scripts that we need to do is we need to do a JSON file, uh, or we can keep it as a text file. We need to put the JSON schema in of what we want to be applied to that site. So I'm going to run through this this um, schema of the JSON. So the ones I've put in here is I'm going to apply our custom theme to the site. I'm going to set the title, the title logo. Um, I'm going to add a YouTube link to the top navigation, and then I'm going to remove all of the other navigation links is say for example if we wanted to remove a navigation link you can literally just take this block here and you could paste this in your code and you've just got to be aware that you know all of your json is linked up you've got your commas in the correct place it can be quite messy sometimes and um, one thing that i would recommend to use is once you've done all that i would copy and paste all of your json into this so i've just come to jsonlint.com if you put, paste it all in and click validate json that will validate to make sure that that json's okay just so you, you make sure you're not missing any commas or you know a command doesn't look correct so now we've done that that all looks ready to go i'm just going to save that file that all seems okay so then the next thing that we've got is we've got another notepad of site scripts and i'm just going to run through this here these are all of your variables that we're going to just run as a bluff here so i'll just throw all them in there should be no issues with that i'll just run through what each of these are so this is the admin site url so this is your sharepoint tenant with which we will connect to the admin point so you your hyphen admin there as well uh, this is the title of what the template is going to be called so i've called this we tech care view template demo this is a description of this this theme um, of this site template, sorry, uh, the site design script. So this is the path to the file that we created before. So I've just got this in a folder. So I just took this link, this link here to the path with the title of that script dot text. So make sure you put the file format at the end. Uh, for this web template, this is important. So this is setting, this is setting the type of site that we deploy. So I've just put this little comment here, 64 is for team sites and 68 is for communication sites. So I'm gonna do 68 for this and this will be a communication site. And then for this preview image URL, this is the URL, this is the image that will show up on the preview. So this is these images here. Um, so again, for mine, I've just kept that as a logo, as the WeTech Care View logo. So we've run that, that's all fine. So now I'm gonna run this next commandlet, which is the connect SPO service commandlet. And I just want to sign in with your global administrator account. Should also do the multi-factor authentication. Okay, that's done. Perfect. And then we just want to run these final commandlets here. So this is just setting the, the JSON variable as this path here that we put for that for that JSON file. This is setting the site script variable here and then finally we'll run this last one so this is running the command let's add the spo site design into our tenant and as you can see we've got a couple of parameters here so it uses this site scripts variable so the id of this uh, so we've got the title which we've already set here the web template type we've already set so so again you can come to our site you can take all these scripts and it should just be easy to copy and paste in so i'm going to paste this in here press enter and there you can see so that's created that site now uh, so that's created that site template so we've got we tech care view template demo so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come back to this page and i'm just going to apply this site template to the um this test site here so as you can see this is just a blank communication site that we've just created so i'm going to come into the cog here click apply a site template if i now go from your organization there you can see the we tech care view template demo 
we've got the site name and the, and the um the description there so now if i just click onto this and then click use template you can see there what that template actually applies click use template and that is then going to apply that to this site it will take a couple of minutes so i'm just going to pause the video and then i'll come back when that's done but as you can see here you get this little bar when you're applying it and you can click view progress and this will show you the progress of what's been applied so far okay so now this green bar has popped up to say the template has been applied refresh this to see the changes so i'm just going to refresh the site And there you can see our, our, um, our template has been applied. So it's removed all those top links. It's just added one link to YouTube here. It's applied the logo to the site. And it's also set the, the site theme to be blue. Um, I hope this video helps someone. If you've got any questions, just please put them in the comments. I know this is, you know, this is quite a tedious process trying to do this. Whenever I came to do these site designs, I thought it'd be a lot simpler than what it was. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps someone. Please like and subscribe to the channel and take care.